What will happen if you put four compressors in one plugin and make it so easy to use that it is almost an insult? You probably will get something like the Purified VU Compressor. With this plugin you can choose between four emulated compressors. The first three are based on variations of the URI 1176 compressor and the fourth one is based on the URI LA3A optical compressor. You don't see any attack or release settings or compression settings. That is because you don't get any. For the first three compressors it uses the 1176 settings of slowest attack which is 0.8 milliseconds at the fastest release and a compression ratio of 4 to 1. The 3A uses the comp setting of an LA3A which also uses a ratio of 4 to 1. You might like this or you don't, which I would understand. That 4 to 1 ratio is a golden ratio for the 1176 type of compressors and you change the amount of compression by turning up the input gain. Now you will get an increase in output volume obviously and you can simply turn down output gain to compensate or enable the surprisingly effective auto gain which links input and output gain. Let's dive in a bit deeper in what each compressor exactly is and how they sound. Type A is based on the infamous Blue Stripe Revision A1176 compressor, also known as the most sought after 1176 which is used by Chris Lord LG on his mixes and most importantly on vocals. Type D is based on the Blackface version 1176 revision compressor and has a very edgy tone compared to revision F. Type F is based on the more modern Blackface revision F1176 compressor. It's the most modern sounding of the three. The Type 3A is based on the URI LA3A compressor, which is an optical compressor. It's called a leveling compressor for a reason. Great on anything which needs a solid, strong foundation. Let's switch between these four compressors while I force upon you the sponsored message of this video. DistroKit is the best solution if you want to have your music on all streaming platforms in existence. Think of Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal and many, many more. You pay a yearly fee of which you can get 7% off of your first year with my link in the description of this video and all revenue you earn will be for you. Not to mention the handy promo tools you get, the easy revenue split options and more goodies. You made it through the sponsored video so that means that you are a keeper. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on the latest new cool plugins. The VU compressor has quite interesting behavior and most definitely a sound. If you go through the four models, you see dips and peaks which are up to about half a decibel to a bit over one decibel. Now by itself that isn't dramatic, but they are over a wide range which will make an impact. And between the four models the differences are bigger. The plugin has a total harmonic distortion dial, fully to the left is no distortion and fully to the right is max. Changing THD has an effect on the frequency behavior as well. Just as changing input volume because that is when compression kicks in which usually will reduce high frequencies. These compressors are no exception. On the plugin you can find high and low boost controls. These can be switched before or after the compressor which of course will affect how the compression behaves. If you use before the EQ will work more as a compression shaping tool. If 
if you use after, it will function as a nice sound polisher. These EQ dials are not as straightforward boost or cut as you might think. This is the low end boost, watch the dip which comes after the boost, very Paltec like. For the high frequencies it's the same. What will influence the compression as well is the switchable high pass sidechain filter, which is centered around 85Hz. If you see these peaks around the harmonics, these are aliasing artifacts. You might find these interfering with your sound and you can simply get rid of them by enabling oversampling. Two times already removes the artifacts for a big part and with eight times they are basically gone. You can go up to 16 times oversampling which is of course far more CPU intensive. About 8% of my total CPU usage. Speaking about CPU usage, with oversampling off I couldn't measure a serious impact on usage. About 2% increase for me and the latency is 0.0 milliseconds, so basically latency free. I can recommend this plugin. It's so easy to use, it's almost an insult on your hard learned compression applying skills. Granted, the ratio attack and release are fixed, but I have found that this is the sweet spot for these type of compressors. If you want a single compressor with an insane amount of control, check out the Kyiv Extressor. Check my video on it, it's displayed on screen and linked in the description below.